Hola, soy Alexander Jennings. My name is Alexander Jennings and today I'll be presenting to you about the Revolución Sandinista and the Contras in Nicaragua. The Civil War in Nicaragua had a bloody effect on the country and still has a lasting effect today. During the Cold War in Nicaragua, the U.S. had their own puppet dictator running the country, known as the Somoza de Bede family. This led the people to revolt against them as they were corrupt and unfair and unjust. The revolutionaries revolting against them, though known as the Sandinistas, however, were communist supported and influenced, being backed by the communist leader, Fidel Castro, Cuba, a communist red country backed by the USSR. And as this was the Cold War, and the U.S. wasn't in much favor of their communist ideologies, and they were afraid of the spread of communism, and on top of that, they were attempting to take out their own little puppet leader, this was going to lead to some problems. These things led to the bloody civil war in Nicaragua that put its economy on the brink of collapse and forced the US to put their own forces in Nicaragua known as the Contras. The Sandinista National Liberation Front, FSLN, was funded by a group of university students and was led by Carlos Fonseca, Silvio Mayorga, and Thomas Borg. Originally, the Sandinista had the support of the people as the Somoza de Bell regime was first the ones being seen as unfair and corrupt. Uh, but when Daniel Ortega took power after the revolution succeeded and it was seen that he could not properly run the country, people turned their support to the Contras. The Hispano Blanta experience of this was one of pretty much ideologies and how you saw things from your own perspective. As originally, the Somoza de Bell family were the ones that most people opposed, oppressing the people, making laws that work in their own order, etc. But when the Sandinista revolution succeeded, not much had really changed other than name and supporters. Originally, the Somozas were seen as the villains, oppressing the people, manipulating laws to work in their own favor. But when the Sandinistas took power, it was seen that they were the villains as they were both corrupt and unjust within their own ways, within their own rights. Uh, as stated by Adolfo Calero, a Nicaraguan citizen who had been working for the CIA to help the Contras in Nicaragua, and who was also a man who was pushing for a just and equal government, uh, had stated this within an interview. Eh, Elos, eh, El Frente Sandinista de Liberación Nacional, Cueran eh, Botar, Eh, somos eh, ya nosotros cortamos eh, votar a Somoza, eh, pero su si estorilo con un gobierno democrático y hacer naciones. They, the Sandinista National Liberation Front, wanted to kick Somoza out, and we, the Union National Repositoria, wanted to kick Somoza out, but to replace him with a democratic government and hold fair elections. So this pretty much means that the experience was the situation where, as the saying goes, one man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter.